we will all offer the prayer of meditation. Help us to know that we are beasts that are perishing. By the mystery of God, may we become an honourable man. May we become someone who obeys this precious thing. We have to become a man. That's when our family's demons depart. That's when the ancestors' demons that torment me will depart. And that's when we will be prosperous. May there not be anyone who is ruined because they scorn the word, but may we receive freedom from our present difficulties. May we become a blessed man. From this time, may we live fixing our destiny. In Jesus' name, we thank you and bless. Amen. One Corinthians chapter ten, verse eleven and twelve. If you just look around, checking people's reactions, three and four generations will be ruined. If your heart's not at peace, three and four generations will be ruined. Why is it that you don't do well? Well, the things where your ancestors have ruined, you le- you let that remain. That's why you don't do well. If your ancestors, they're filled with maggots, filled with, uh, 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 they pass down a blanket that's filled with bugs and maggots, because you just you um, cover yourself up with that, that's why you don't do well. Some people, they try to get rid of, you know, their things. Some people try to um, move. What your ancestors have planted, three and four generations come down. So, what did your parents do? You know, didn't they go here and then act as an informant and then, you know, you end up being lame? Isn't that what you receive, these curses and disasters? So, of course, you're not going to do well. You know, if you have rotting food, of course, there's going to be bugs there. You know, someone says, oh, please. You know, they, they were giving thanks offerings and they said, oh, please correct me. But then I rebuked them and they, they pout. So you want to receive blessings. You want to fix your destiny. If you don't know understanding, 100% it's, it's hell. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. So you say, oh, but I'm going to heaven. How? Well, because I'm a pastor. Where in the Bible does it say just because you're a pastor, you're going to heaven? Where does it say because you're a theologian, you go to heaven? It's only the man of understanding. That goes. It's only the man of understanding who has power. It's only the man of understanding who has the wisdom of heaven remaining in them and has knowledge. And then they say, oh, please teach me understanding. Oh, so you know this much? Is is it time now to put the roof on your house? So then... I tell, I tell them to do something and they don't do it. Well, why aren't you doing it? Oh, I have too many things to do. And then they ask for understanding. You know, they ask for food. You give them food, they won't eat it. So they don't even want to receive as much as this lacking servant has received. Even though I teach them, they, they won't do it. And then they say, oh, but please teach me. So that's someone who's not in their right mind. If you truly knew, as soon as it's given to you, you'd know straight away. So a diamond, compared to its, so for its weight, it's the most expensive thing. And they're not all diamonds. The ones that are cloudy, they're they're worthless. You know, depending on the colour, they can be worthless. So in Korea, they... So this diamond, in order to distinguish it, they have all sorts of machines and, you know, to test if it's true or fake. And so I stopped by a jeweler and they couldn't even distinguish what a diamond was. You know, they were saying if it was, if it was real or not. And I was like, you idiot. You, you. If you don't know if it's a stone or jade, so our ancestors said, you know, just because 
they're all a stone from Gyeongju doesn't mean they're all jade. Just because you're all sitting here doesn't mean you'll all go to heaven. Well, what about you, Pastor Parker? Are you going? No. When can you go? Well, when God calls you, you have to be clean. Just a moment ago, I was clean, but now I'm dirty. That's 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 useless. It's worthless. So you have to always try to live cleanly according to the word. We have to pray without ceasing. So if we're not breathing, are we alive or dead? So it's the same person from one hour ago, but even 10 minutes ago, if they're not breathing, they're dead. So because we don't have time, verse 11 and 12. Now these things happen to them as an example, and they were written for our instruction, upon whom the ends of the ages have come. Therefore, let him who thinks he stands take heed that he does not fall. Amen. So those people who think, oh, I, I, I've done enough in the world, you know, don't be mistaken. As soon as you think that you're standing, you'll fall. As soon as you say, oh, I'm done, then it's over for you. So in the newspapers, on TV, TV in the magazines, once their name is known, Within six months, already that person's, they're, they're ruined. They're either dead, or they've been ruined, or they've received shame. So if your name is known in the newspapers or magazines, you think that you've succeeded. But once that has happened, you start to be ruined. Why? Because you're crazy to be to, to have your name recognized. We should only boast of the Lord Jesus Christ and the cross. If you write a book and try to boast of your name, this the 63 building, why was it ruined? Because they, they made all these books and they tried to have a good name. So once someone's ruined, there's a reason why they were ruined. So in the newspapers, magazines, TV, once they come out, soon they're so proud, they're standing, and then God, He smashes them. If you go to a Christian bookstore, they say, oh, this person did this and succeeded. But then they slandered false repentance, and they've become a beggar. They're in such a filthy way. Once you boast of your name, you're ruined, because God won't leave you alone. Why? Because all men, why did God create them? For His glory. You talk about freedom of religion, stop saying things to eat up your children, to kill yourself. So what does it say here? So it says, now these things happen. So those people who sinned, who acted like they're better, who, you know, someone who nitpicks, you know, who's at fault and grumbles and slanders, they, they're all under the death sentence. So it says, now these things happen to them as an example, as a mirror. So if you read from verse 1 to 10, it says, it's your mirror. Whose mirror is it? So if you look at a mirror and you curse someone else, then you're crazy. Why do you look at a mirror? to fix my filthy things. It's it's for me. So what is a mirror? Well, whatever is appearing before you now. So because you can't realize, I'm going to say this in an easy way. So let's say you want to watch a show. That's because your ancestors, the sins that they did regarding a show, you're filled with that. So let's say you want to watch a drama. What's, whatever's in that drama is your sins and your ancestors' sins. So when you do forced out repentance, there's no reason to watch the TV or dramas. Well, Pastor, why did you look at the news? So if I have a heart of wanting to watch the news, then I'll look at it. But then afterwards, there's nothing for me to do but repent of it all. There's things for me to pray about. So what is it that you should repent about? Well, what's your mirror? Whatever you want to look at, whatever you want to do, that's all your sins and your ancestors' sins. Because of these sins, you're not, you're not doing well. So this lacking servant, it's not me that makes it happen. It's according to the the inspiring, the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. So, you know, I say you should be careful about this. And people scoff that, 100% they're ruined. You know, it's not just one or two things like this. Yesterday I went to pray for a patient. 
you know, I was going to come back to Busan and all of a sudden I had this nosebleed and I had to rest before I came back. So as I go there, you know, if I die, you know, as I come back, you know, am I going to die or, you know, should I rest a bit? So, you know, when you when I reach my limits, God shows me a sign. Either he's going to kill me and take me or, or he's going to give me strength again so I, I can do something. So there's nothing to do but give thanks. When you don't have thanks, that's when there's a problem. As you're sitting here, <coughs> excuse me, if you have your thoughts, your excuses, oh, this is what I know. You know, I have this doctorate. Where does it say that it's, you know, those with doctorates will get salvation? The three wise men, they came seeking Jesus. I didn't know that Deacon Ahn had become so filthy and was not repenting. But it's not just him. You, I, it's for all of us to realize. If you say, oh, it's him, then you'll be ruined. It's my mirror. So it says, it's my mirror. So what's your mirror? Oh, pastor, what should I repent of? Well, what is it you're not doing well in? Well, money. That means your ancestors, they're filled with this evil, 10,000 evils regarding money. That's my mirror. So those people who aren't being released in money, do you know, you know how filthy, how how filthy were the things that their ancestors did? You ask them to do some work, they do things cursedly. They may fix one thing, but they break two. So Joseph, you know, the supervisor in the jail, he entrusted everything to Joseph so he didn't have to look, check a thing. You think that it's because Joseph worked so badly that that happened? Why is it you don't do well? You don't. You can't see your mirror. So the problems in my family, my problems, my business not doing well. You know, my workplace not doing well. My family not doing well. That's all my mirror. And the, the, the things that you see in others, that's all my mirror. So if it's my mirror, you know, if you only see good things in the mirror, why? Why would you have to look at it? You, you're going to check to see if you have sleep in your eyes or if your hair's messy or you're, you're trying to look for something. So if you've looked at it, then what is it you have to fix? Let's find Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32. There's nothing but the blood of Christ. So that child who was crying, are they, cry, are they crying now? What, what does that mean? If you give your whole heart to the Lord, you forsake everything, that's when you're a, a disciple. Luke chapter 14, verse 33. But you don't come to dawn service. You don't come to vigil. You don't come to the services. You don't uh, eat three times a day. That person is holding on to something else. You think that holding on to that, you're going to do well? You'll be ruined exactly. And you see when they're ruined. It's because of that that they're ruined. So, so there was a pastor and his wife and, and they had cancer. When I went, what is it? What is it that I do? I go and say, you're a dog pig bastard. Because God says rebuke is love. Well, what should I rebuke to be right? Well, according to what the Father tells me. So if I want to be used for this, am I an instrument of good or an instrument of evil? If you want to be an instrument of good, when does he use you? You have to repent to the point of death. It's when you repent to the point of death. Oh, that person's a dog pig. They're not a man. You have to be able to see that. Oh, that's a man. You should be able to see this. So if you're speaking the Bible, the Bible is God's word. John chapter 1 verse 1. But it's all covered by Christ, a veil. So if you don't go inside of Christ and you look at the Bible, can you see it properly or not? So someone who can't even see the Bible properly, why would you listen to them? Why look at the books that they've read, uh, written? You're asking for death. And, you know, why go by that like an idiot? If you're not in Christ, then you're a dog pig. Why would you go by and carry around and read something that a dog pig's written? Why is it you don't do well? Because you listen to dog pigs. It's because you're the same that you listen to that. So that's God's word. So you, why do you think that listening to a sermon without Christ, that that's nothing? It's because you're a dog pig. 
So not just in Korea, but in the world. If you're outside of Christ and then you try to have a relationship with God, where does it say that in the Bible? With, if you're in Christ, not only are you forgiven of your sins, but the 66 books, the Holy Trinity, you can only meet them in Christ. That's Ephesians chapter 2, verse 12. But if you don't even know these basics, you say, oh, it's a restaurant. You know, in America, there's a supermarket that sells dog food. So someone from Korea went there for the first time. They didn't know um, English. So they saw a dog picture thinking it was dog soup dog stew and then they later they bought it and they realized it was dog food so a sermon without christ it's all dog food so if my father you know grew up eating dog food then he's a dog you know you may laugh about this but me my ancestors that's where we lived our life of faith and yet you don't know this who teaches this to us the bible let's realize properly Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Amen. So where does God forgive you in? Is it by the name of Christ or in Christ? It says in Christ. You have to go inside of him. And that's why Colossians chapter 1 verse 27. Going inside of Christ is the mystery of Christ, four-step repentance. Without four-step repentance, how can you have salvation? How can you have forgiveness of sins? So what is it we should repent of? The sins of our heart and our flesh, all of it. If you're still not being released, then whatever problem has come to you, that's your mirror. That's... That's what you have to repent of, what you have to wash your face of. So, so it's only in Christ that we have forgiveness of sins. It's not by His name, but it's in Him. It's to completely, thoroughly do four-step repentance. So let's fix our destiny. You say it's not working, let's end that. You say I'm not being released today, let's end it. You say my children aren't doing well, let's end it so they do well. There's nothing but this. If you're proud and arrogant, you have these demons, then you scorn the word. You know, I went overseas and someone, they, they bowed down onto the ground. Who are they doing that to? The Lord. If you think it's to yourself, then you'll die. So I do it too. I don't do it to that person. I do it to the Lord. So when you do that, then you're a bit different. But when you don't do that, it's because you're filled with arrogance and you scorn the word and then you're ruined and you become a beggar. Why do you live like that? So it says to, to look, at, look at it as, look as, to see it as your mirror. Does it mean look at your face and just receive disasters or does it mean to wash it? Does it mean to save your children or kill them? Does it mean to be a patriot or to be a traitor? So how are we living? You know, you're so mistaken. You think that you're standing. So looking at your actions. Oh, you know, you should never get married into a household like that. Those people who are suffering a lot, three and four generations, they're so dirty. They're not even people. They're beasts that are perishing. That's what's ruining me. So what's the way to live then? If my children are like this and I'm like this and you don't even know how to look at your mirror, how can you just be so shameless? Let's live. At this time, let's live. Let's call upon the Lord three times. And what's our mirror? This person, that person, that person, this person, whatever appears before me, whatever I want to be looking at. Oh, I suddenly want to be looking at TV. Well, what is it that you actually want to look at? That's what your ancestors' demons are. So let's call upon the Lord three times and let's fix our destiny inside of the Lord. Whatever's not working out, let's make it work. Let's save our children. Let's be patriots to our country. And let's be ambassadors of Christ who save mankind. Those people who can't even clap, they're demons. You know, if I try to do something with these type of people around, it's unbelievable. If you don't know, if food is tasty or not, then you're still not in your right mind. You know, this word is sweeter than honey. You can't even say amen. Then you're still suffering from demons. So looking at your actions, you can see. Those who want to live, do this. If you don't want to live and you want to eat up your children and not do well, do whatever you want. However, 
If at all possible, please do this. Let's start. Lord, Lord, Lord. Father God, Father God, Father God. Help us to only live in Christ. If outside, the baby cries. If we come back inside, the baby stops. So may we only live in Christ. <laughs> 